on Becky's Feather Nest. This is a video on the updated apothecary slash uh, medicine cabinet. Uh, if you'll remember the video I had before, and I will probably erase, uh, I had baskets in it that I didn't like. Uh, they were a mesh kind of, or a wire type basket, so I didn't like seeing all the medications uh, visible. So I did find some new containers, which I'm going to show you uh, in just a second, but I want to give you an overall view of where this is located. It's a built-in into a little niche uh, here in the hallway located just outside the master bedroom. Okay, so going on into the cabinets, I have these baskets. I purchased these at Hobby Lobby. Um, they do have a pattern on one side but you don't see that so I don't it doesn't really bother me I also added my own labels so up on the top shelf I have this one that holds skin items aloe vera suntan lotions things like that in here I have these are just amber glass uh, bottles that I picked up at Walmart I have my turmeric and my calcium uh, gummies in them they're rather large so I keep them in there and then I have cold and allergy medications in here, um, diabetic supplies in here, intestinal uh, supplies in here, such as, um, you know, Pepto-Bismol, things like that, uh, the ear, nose, and throat, um, Visine drops, nasal sprays, uh, etc. first aid, band-aids, ointments, and things like that, pain relief. And then my husband has his own, he takes a lot of vitamins and stuff, so he's got all his in here. And then I have prescriptions and vitamins as well. Uh, and I keep mine in here, we keep them uh, separate. And then this is just my bottle of water from uh, the Magnolia silos, some uh, pill, you know, cups. Um, and then right here I have the uh, little water bottles that I replaced and put my own labels on that I just printed off my computer. On the other side, I still have the Velcro strips uh, with the uh, matching or the opposite piece that makes it stick. On these items, uh, a, thermo a temple thermometer, an oral thermometer, and just other pieces that we use for um, med medications, getting splinters out, things like that. And then a little trash bucket. This is just a leftover container from, I think, calcium tablets. Um, that's velcroed on here as well. That's where we throw our band-aid trash or cotton balls, things like that. On this side, I added a, um, a clipboard because I have found that um, once I go to the doctor, she usually leaves me with instructions on things that she wants completed before I return uh, on my next visit, uh, such as uh, I need to get an eye exam or something like that, and she wants all that accomplished before I come back. So I will stick all these uh, instructions that she leaves me up here, and then I can check those off as I get them completed uh, before my next visit. So um, that comes in handy, and I didn't have that before. Um, <clears throat> so I will, I, I like using that. And um, then the first drawer up here, I have these containers, they have glasses, um, glass repair kits, sunglasses, stuff like that. This is now my um, my sick cart. If you've seen my video on the sick cart, I, I use this now. Um, and this is just a little wooden basket. I believe I got it at Home Goods. Right now it's kind of set up for um, <clears throat> maybe um, like a stomach bug. Um, I have these uh, little disposable gloves hand sanitizer, vomit bags. Um, this is just a bell so that they can, these are bells that they can ring, uh, you know, for help if I'm in another room. Um, and then these are alcohol wipes. I've heard these are good to help with nausea uh, and that sort of thing. Some tissue, uh, personal size tissues and some crackers uh, right there. And then this is a basket. I liked the basket I got it at home. Uh, at home. Uh, the store called at home and then these are just some little uh, blanket throws in case you need an extra you know cover and then this is just a cute little bunny it's just a stuffed little bunny but I use it to put lavender drops in <coughs> excuse me so that um, just kind of helps relax you when you're 
laying there not feeling well. And then I have refills for alcohol, rubbing alcohol and uh, uh, per hydrogen peroxide. And then my main <coughs> box here of uh, disposable gloves <coughs> and that sort of thing. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And then the second drawer here has um, Kleenex tissues boxes, pill minders, some paper towels, extra vomit bags, um, washcloths. I save these because sometimes I need a little container, so I just keep those, a couple of them at a time. And the silicone packs uh, that come in your medications, I hear are good for drying out your phone if it gets wet. You put it in a baggie and fill it with those. And then uh, some more personal packs of tissue. And then below that I have uh, these in these little shoe bins, which I have a um, and a, a tension cord that keeps the baskets from sliding. But over here I have the electric heating pads. This one is um, I made with rice and lavender. <coughs> and um, I don't like the smell of the rice once you heat it up. Um, but it does work real well, so you kind of have to, you know, take the good with the bad, I guess. Um, and then these are some wraps, uh, gauze and tape, um, some slings, braces, that sort of thing, hot and cold uh, packs. <clears throat> and then my cancer uh, supplies, wig and its supplies, and foot soaks, things like that um, right here. So that's in the bottom drawer there, and that is it on my uh, apothecary. So anything medical uh, related uh, goes here. And uh, that is it. All right, my friends, have a blessed day. Stay well. Bye now.